Hey, what's up guys, it's Ben Bong, and today in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to make a camera follow system like Celeste. This is a very simple camera following system where it'll be multiple different rooms and you can smoothly transition between each different rooms without having to load a new scene. The final product will look something like this where I have a room and I can go and jump between and it'll be a very smooth camera transition. It's really easy to make and we're gonna be using Cinemachine for this tutorial. So let's get started. So right off the bat, I've set up my scene. I have a player that can move around and just a few game objects with colliders. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have to import Cinemachine. And if you're not Cinemachine, it's a very, very good uh, asset that you can import and it's great for camera falls and all that kind of stuff. So you're going to go to Window, Package Manager, click All Packages, scroll down and find Cinemachine and then just hit Import. I already have it imported so I don't have to do it right now. Just wait for that and import, and when you finally do, we are going to go to Cinemachine, and we're going to do Create 2D Camera. Now this is a virtual camera, and we're going to have to adjust this to our likings. As you can see, it is kind of a little bit funky right now, but we can get that working in just a second. So the first thing I want to do is, in this follow, I want it to follow my player, so I'm going to drag that right here. I don't really like how this looks, so I'm going to change the orthographic size and just zoom it in a bit. And I also want this to go a bit higher, and so I'm going to go to my screen Y and move it up a little. This doesn't have to be perfect, so I'm going to do this really quickly, but you might want to make it perfect for the sake of your game. There's a lot of settings you can do with Cinema Machine, so you can just tamper around these your own. There's a lot of really good tutorials on it, but if you already do have a Cinema Machine tutorial, camera already made perfect so right now we do have a really simple camera follow it's nothing great we could spend some time to make it better but i'm gonna let that up to you so for the sake of the tutorial i want my com camera to be limited to a certain room so i can't move around and just be stuck in a certain room so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on my virtual camera i'm going to add extension and i'm going to send a machine collider and just add that next thing we're going to do is create an empty game object and we can just call this room one or whatever room you want this to be and you want to make sure if you're using raycast to have ignore raycast on we're going to add a polygon collider it has to be a polygon collider do not try to add a box collider or get away with that just use a polygon collider make sure to set it to is trigger and we're going to try to set this to the size of our room what i'm going to do is edit collider or first i'm going to the points we have four points, so it'll be easier to edit. And I'm just going to drag this kind of to the point of our room just to make sure that I can cover the whole space. Point is, I'll just make a collider and you can make your own collider and I'll cut this here and just once you get a somewhat good looking polygon collider, just use that and we can resume the tutorial. Now the next thing that we are going to do after I've made my room have a perfect collider pretty much matching thing so my camera won't move, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my CV cam or whatever and just drag it in as I've already done. Now that I hit play, if you've done this correctly, your camera should not move at all and it should stay still and not go on behind the boundaries. So that's great. If it's not working for you, just try messing around with your, poly or with your uh, polygon collider and get that to work that way. So now that we have this, we need to make a simple script. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just gonna actually, first actually before the script, I'm gonna drag my CV cam under my room and then I'm just going to duplicate this room and I'm just going to drag it this way and I'm going to make sure these do not overlap. The last thing you want them to do is overlap. I'm going to rename this to room number two and I'm just going to try to get this to get to the next side. I can see these are not overlapping so that's perfect. Now that we have room number two, we have CV cam number two. Let's make sure that our uh, we have different polygon colliders. I can see this is room two, and room one. Let's send this cam. Let's actually get this cam two and cam one, just so we remember. 
and that is room one so perfect and that is room two and I'll do that so that's really nice next thing we need to do is make a script to manually trans switch between these cameras as when we go when we're in this collider we want it to be on this camera but when we go over to this collider we want to be on this camera so let's make a script right now let's create a c sharp c sharp script and let's just call this room or room manager or whatever you want to name this and let's just open that up and here we go so the first thing we want to do is make a reference to our virtual camera a public game object and just call this a virtual cam the next thing we're going to do is we can just delete start and update and let's make a void on trigger enter 2d and let's just name this collision to other just so it's more clear then we want to check if our other dot compare tag is to our player and we want to make sure to add a, the player tag to our player so whoever your player is add the tag player to him let's head back into our script and next let's add a and condition to make sure we are not and is a trigger so whatever our collider is is not a trigger then we can say if this is true our virtual cam dot set dot set active and let's pass in true now we can duplicate this we can make on trigger exit 2d and we can set this to false. So that's really, really all the script is. Let's head back into Unity. On our room script, let's add our, or we can just drag it in here actually, our room. Same with here, drag in room, virtual cam, just drag in the virtual camera that you're using. And let's test it out. As you can see, let me hit play. Actually, no, no, before you hit play, you want to make sure to disable both of your virtual cameras. So now let's hit play. And it'll detect this first one. You can see this one is set as active and this one set as not active. So we can move around just fine. Let's head over here. And you'll notice it makes a very, very slow transition. And that is kind of something we do not want. It's okay if you can, but if we want to edit this, go to main camera, and then let's see, we want ease in out. But let's set the second something more snappy, like 0.5. You can really change that depending on what you want. Now let's go back. Now we have a boom, very snappy transition, and this is super easy to implement. It's really that it, and you can just keep on making different rooms with different triggers. And that's related to a Celeste uh, camera system. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments, just let me know and I'll try to answer them. And yeah, I hope this uh, helped you out. And I'll see you in the next video.